years. And um, if you are able to be on camera or chat, use the chat window, um, or even make comments tonight, that increases your chances of winning. Uh, but that is not the only way to win. Um, and we recognize that. And um, yeah, so stick around to the end when we will have our uh, raffle. Ooh, we love the raffle. All right, next slide. Thank you. Our agreements for the night are, um, where am I at? Okay, mute yourself, but we also love for people to come off mute. And so even right now, if it's possible, we would love for you all to greet each other and ourselves in whatever language is comfortable for you. So one of the things I love hearing sometimes is the chaos of the sound. And so when I count to three and I even see my, my youngins on the call too, we'd love for you to unmute yourself and just say hello to the other community that's on this call. You ready? All right, one, two, three. Uh, hello. Hello, everyone. Uh, hello. Hello, hello. hello. Oh, thank you. And even if you want to sign language, however, we just love the hello and welcome to all the young people on the call too and the families. Great. Thank you all. We'd love for you all to place your comments in the chat box. So that's a great way to activate. Um, and then we'll call some people. Sometimes we'll ask for you to come forward. Um, and then also try on the process. If we call on you and you don't want to talk, it's good. Just be like, keep it moving. We're so okay with that. Um, and then let's just be open and respectful and kind of have a good time tonight. All right. If you want water or pencil or pen, we're going to chit chat, but we're also going to try to come up with a couple of things that we can do um, to support ourselves moving forward. Next slide, Frank. Might as well go to the um, chat blast. Great. Thank you. Franklin said he heard aloha and now wants to go to Hawaii. Anybody else out there want to go to Hawaii right now? How about we have a parent meeting in Hawaii, okay? <laughs> now that, I see, Melanie, I see your, your little one in the back seat raising his hand, yes. <laughs> I was in Hawaii uh, uh, in June. Oh, you did? Hawaii in June? Yes, we went to Ma uh, Kauai. Oh, oh, nice. 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 But you know, one of the great things, it's not Hawaii, y'all, but we got Alameda Beach. <laughs> just in case you need a beach <laughs> meet you at alameda beach <laughs> we used to live in hawaii please don't say that no. oh, right, don't compare God. alameda it beach is, to hawaii it's definitely an insult but if we could put our toe in the water it, it, nothing on it <laughs> <laughs> That's Love it. how about this well frank before we do the joy list i have an idea for a chat blast can you type in there somewhere you've been that that you really love? Like when you go there, it brings you joy, it brings you peace, or it's just fun. So one of the places for us is Hawaii. Um, the water is extraordinary. And so I'm gonna put in my, in my chat box, Hawaii. Is there somewhere you go that brings you peace or brings you joy? It could even be yes. Starbucks coffee shop. Somehow this comes up every year. I would already put Target. Oh, that's then you love our Target gift cards, okay? Yosemite, yeah, Lake Lake Chabot Hills. It is so beautiful in there. Yeah, big beach. Anywhere else? Target is a good one too. <laughs> Target's winning. <laughs> yeah, if you ever stroll through Target just to like get out during the pandemic, I know I have a few times during shutdown. Yeah, I have to say, Target is not sponsoring this call, but they should. Maybe All right. We'll them. <laughs> right, let's see what else is coming up. The beach, okay. All right, we're going to call was in, was in. is awesome. <laughs> Someone said Target's, Target in San Carlos specifically. I'm going there this weekend. Okay, here's something that we forgot about was going to the coffee shop without kids. That's been the best thing about them going back to school. Anyone with me, just give a round of applause. But I see you, well, how was your name? Junin Ruiz, I see you snapping over there. I'm so sorry, yeah, I, that's my full like legal name for like school purposes, but everyone, I mean, like at school, they know me as Juju or Juni, and I can go by Juju at work. So, I, you know, something around the June-ish, I kind of get. So, Love yeah, it. The, and, and you're loving you're loving a coffee shop without kids right now. 
Oh, yes. Yeah. So I, I got laid off of work. So I've been off for like two weeks. And it's just like, oh, my gosh, I can go get a cup of coffee. And no one's like on me. I'm not a playground. Like not a playground. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, I'm, yeah. I love I'm, it. I'm so blessed that they are in school. They are staying healthy. <laughs> yes. Yes. It's good. It's the little things. You don't realize how much you missed a, a cup of coffee without kids hanging on you. Yeah. Oh, Wash oh, someone said go, Washington yeah. Manor Park. <laughs> yeah. Washington Manor Park. Love that. Thank someone said I missed Target. We need to just have a meeting at Target, y'all. Um, family pool. The Ferrelli pool is open at 9 a.m. Oh, nice. oh, nice. Zocalo's love it. The avocado toast at Zocalo's. And they have this new Beyond Burger biscuit. Yeah. All right, you all. Well, if you haven't found your place, go ahead and take one from someone's list here and maybe visit a local one around the corner in our neighborhood. Zocalo's, the coffee shop, Washington Park, for your joy list. Thank you. Ruben said anywhere with my kids and wife. Oh, that's just not as precious. Great. All right. Well, that was fun. All right. Um, I was Frank, before you do the joy list, I was um I was saying earlier, um, some of us are already thinking about vacation, um, even though it may not be close. And so go ahead and pull from here. And Yosemite is about a three hour drive away and you can come back home on the same day. So all right, you all, thank you for sharing. Frank, go ahead, my friend. Yeah. Yeah, pulling up the screen. Yeah. You're a little far advanced there. Yeah, no, I've seen a lot of people post up too. All right. Um, so yeah. today, today we're talking about joy and all things joy and how to lift that in our lives. So often we uh, um, spend time, you know, talking through the challenges of living in a pandemic. And we often um, may forget that we also have the ability to access our tools of resilience, right? And remember, resilience is our ability to bounce back from tough um, situations and tough times. And one of the ways we do that, and we've done this as people, is to find our joy, and if not find it, then we create it. So how are we creating joy um, during this time? Um, and so maybe folks could talk about how did you experience joy in this past week? Does anybody have a moment where they experienced joy in the past week that was um, notable or um, one that you want to remember? Mm. Can I call on? Junie said cleaning my house and Tammy said getting to sleep. Yes. Anyone happy for sleep these days? Mm -hmm. I see you, Melanie, over there. I see you, Joanna. So my husband and I um, took a, a weekend off from the kids. We went to- Ooh, uh, Yes. <laughs> So we spent two nights there in Yosemite, and it was um, a free, a free uh, get in and get out. You know, because on uh, Saturday it was a national free uh, admission day, so we got in free. Oh, that is. Oh, great. that's great. Yeah. So a trip. Right, look out for that. Kids. Oh yeah, a trip without the kids. That's beautiful. And we have we we recently bought um a RV, so we drove our RV <sighs> there. It was beautiful. Just, you know, we have our own space, no need to, uh, uh, you know, set up this tent and <laughs> we have everything in there. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. You know, they call that glamping, glamorous camping. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. Hey, um, I see Gingy, I see Nellie. Um, Nellie's son got student of the week. Where are you, Nellie? Let's celebrate. Uh, Monroe. Congratulations. Nellie, what grade level? Uh, kindergarten. Woohoo! Congratulations. Yay. Congratulations. And it looks like you got some free cheese bread also. Yeah. With that. <laughs> I tell you, that's winning right there. Yay. That's Good great. Job. 
The other places where people are finding joy, wow. um, uh, Ruben's son started playing the saxophone. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, and wait, did someone say I'm going to a quilt festival? Vasily, are you in the English room? Going to the quilt festival at the Alameda County Fairgrounds and getting inspired to create with your own hands in spare time. Oh, nice. Awesome. Nice. And then I see Emerald Gomez. Where are you at? Michael or Michelle? Playing the piano. Beautiful. Yeah, play piano is very good. My sons and I play piano during the pandemic and teach uh, t volunteer, volunteer to help the younger kids to practice play, uh, piano. Yes, all the summer. Yes, nice. oh, my son got the got the two uh, two Preston uh, volunteer award for the gold uh, this year. Yeah. Which grade level for that son? My sons, uh, because a uh, pandemic, my sons cannot uh, come to the community to volunteer. So my son tried to teach online uh, to help the uh, community. So he got the, this this year to got the two uh, Preston uh, volunteer award for the gold. Uh, I wow. think 13 years to under the 16, 16 years, the teenager, uh do over 100 hour volunteer can get the goal oh, 100 you know hours how about we're gonna give yeah. you a hand mom good yeah. job mom thank, thank you thank you you should be so I think, crazy. yeah i think i think the uh a, a, a lot the um the high school student got the gold silver uh this year because uh they they give the love to the community. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's great. That's great. That's great. That's great. Frank. I see someone flew on my own <coughs> convention without my hubby and kids. Okay, we're getting back in airplanes again. We're going to take care of our business and separate in from people we've been around for a couple of years and, and refilling our cup. Mm -hmm. Nice. Great. That's great. great. Well, thank you all for sharing. This is exactly what we're looking at is how we are creating and also just celebrating those moments, taking time. The so there's our to do list is so long and never ending that sometimes we forget to stop and mark the moments where we really are experiencing that joy. And then when times do get really tough, we can bring those memories back to ourselves as a reminder that we can make it, that we're still here and we're still moving forward despite the things that are going on in our lives. Mm -hmm. Also, it allows us to relieve stress, right? So we can take ourselves back to the beach of Maui, to the beach of Kauai, but also to Lake Chabot um, when we just relaxed on the grass, doing nothing. Or my friend who got to sleep in, um, and that's a valuable, like, oh my God, just hearing that, or being able to take a nap on a Saturday. Yeah. How many people can appreciate when there's like a Saturday or Sunday nap? Oh my gosh. That is so, there's like some kind of wonderful for us. Yeah. Or even enjoying the transition from one job to the next at a coffee yes. shop, because you know it's going to be okay. So taking the moment while we have it to restore ourselves. You know what I say when people leave their jobs for whatever reason? I say congratulations. <laughs> and try to and try to reframe like, oh, okay, that's great. Congratulations. Something better is coming. <laughs> all right. All right, Gingy. Great. Thank you all. Um, and so what we want to talk about is one of the things that the reason we're talking about joy is because we have come to learn and evidence shows that a, a strategy of resilience is generating joy. And so in this moment, while we all are going through something, if you're going through something in life, in your house, in your family, go ahead and raise your hand, whatever that something is without telling us or put an icon on, right? We're all going through something. There's something always coming up. 
And in the midst of that, especially after what we've all been through as a community, as a nation over the last two years, we wanna remember that joy is a resilience strategy and muscle. And what does the resilience mean? That means the ability to bounce back. That means that today was a hard day, right? I'm, actually, it really was. Today was a hard day, but tomorrow I'm gonna get back up. I'm gonna try again. I'm gonna take care of myself. I'm gonna take care of my family. And so it's saying that I'm gonna pause for a minute and then I'm gonna get back in the game. That's and right. so overcoming, when we talk about resilience, we wanna talk about it from this type of perspective. Overcoming in our past reminds us that we can take on present circumstances to move forward towards joy, to move forward. And so I'll give an example, very transparent. For me, all of us as parents, um, some of us, depending on you know what our where we've come from, I remember a time in life with my youngins, with Franklin and I, when we were building our company, where we made some sacrifices. And there were a lot of things that we couldn't do for our children. They were really little. Our kids are 18 months apart, so it's like having twins. I know some of you out there know that life right there. Um, and in that, when I would go to the store, we were on WIC and stuff, there was just certain things I couldn't do, right? And I always have worked my whole life, but at that moment, because I got sick with one of them, I had to stop. And it made me sad. Like often, it was a season of life where I just love my babies and my family, but I also wasn't where I wanted to be. So about a month ago, y'all, I went to the store and Costco, anybody love those Costco runs? I tell you that Costco run, it's like therapy for me. I went to the, that's where I get joy. Okay, I see those hands. And so in that, when I went to Costco, I just realized, oh, let me get my kids this and this and that. And I remembered the moment when I couldn't and that now we've moved through it. And in that moment, joy came over me. Why? Because it wasn't about what was happening externally, but it was about the satisfaction that was happening internally. It was about the, the, the moment that I, we overcame hardship at this point in our life and now we can enjoy the bliss. And so the strategy of joy is to also hold on to the goodness of what you've pressed through individually, as a family, as a community, as a parent, as couples, as single parents, as parents with kids with special needs, whatever your challenge has been to say, we made it through this and now we'll make it through this. Remember when the pandemic hit, we didn't, some of us didn't know how we were going to get through, right? Everyone at home, I don't know about you guys, but did anybody think they were going to lose their mind being locked up in their house 24 hours with their kids and everybody else and all those animals, right? Yeah, well, we're here. And even if, even if we lost our mind, y'all, even if we lost it, maybe we found it along the way or it found us. <laughs> Does anyone want to say something? I see laughs and thumbs up. Is there anyone who wants to say something? Is this resonating with you or do you have something to share? Mm, I, I know Selene Joe Ming Library, you can print, uh, print the ticket to, uh, to join the free, free uh, museum to uh, bring uh, the family member to visit different different museum is very good yeah nice thank you thank you we like free 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 yeah so i saw junie and then i saw um emerald and michelle emerald and michael michael i'm sorry okay. so well, what i resonated with when you were talking about the pandemics or the pandemic was uh, being with all the kids or everybody and animals. So we ended up getting some pandemic poultry. I know people had pandemic babies. <laughs> we got pandemic poultry and um, it was an experience to say the least. And now we have, um, I guess, guinea pigs. We, get, we ended up um, having to give away our, our poultry, but it's so cute to watch them grow and uh, the life cycles of our kids. So <laughs> we got a Corona dog. Oh my goodness. This is so funny. Like now seeing it hindsight, like when yeah. 
initially we we're just like yeah I was pulling my hair out I was, it was just it was crazy it was really really crazy so thank you for helping me resonate and in the joy and all that thank you for sharing my friend we've had a call before where people started pulling out roosters and all the different animals oh yeah oh yeah Michael and Emerald and then Melissa Tom Melissa Thompson yeah, first it didn't get too crazy, I guess, because like some of our, us are really whole bodies anyway. So going to do things wasn't yeah. really like our day. And when people are like, oh, you can't do anything, we we're like false because we were already outdoorsy kind of people. So we would take the kids yeah. outside to Shibota walk to the park. We were like, you can totally do stuff. So mm -hmm. we kind of had our amusements in our mind already lined up. Um, and then, like what I said earlier about the piano, when Corona hit, we were like, I've always, my entire life, I wanted to learn the piano. And on next door, somebody in Alameda was giving away a family piano. Oh, wow. And I picked that up. We went and picked that up and loaded it up, put it in the house, and I downloaded the app, and I can play quite a few songs. So we've, we've, what is the word, met, weathered the storm pretty well. We've been pretty blessed. Uh, we just maintained our focus. I know people mentioned like staying close to their religious beliefs. That has definitely helped us. Um, staying grounded, playing with your kids, getting some sunshine, you know, getting away from each other, staying close to each other, being <laughs> verbal. Yes. But we've been blessed to both be working the entire time. Neither of our jobs shut down. We didn't have to like go without. We just yeah. carried on and we never ran out of toilet paper. So, oh. <laughs> oh, you're winning. <laughs> so we won, we won. We, I stocked up just before they ran out. So it's been pretty good. And, you know, I think that we're going into a new season now. Although the season, I think, is anybody else feeling funky? Because it won't be quite autumn. Like it rained, but then it's hot. And then it's cold, but then it's hot. And I don't know. The only thing that's messed me up is the season right now. Yeah. I have weird allergies. The kids do. So this... This weather not knowing what it wants to do is like really just combined. You see my hair. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> you look great. You look great. And you can play the piano. So you're winning. <laughs> so now, Thank now you what? For I play the piano friend. now. <laughs> yes, right. Thank you. And, and I think, you know, what you all bring up as well is for those who are already indoors and have figured out how to use nature, even sharing that information. And the beauty of today is that we're not in that place anymore, but we could still go outdoors. We could still pick up a piano. We can still do a lot of the things that we didn't realize our life was missing or needed. Melissa <laughs> and then Annie. So the pandemic wasn't so bad for me. I mean, my family or my kids and I are very artistic and we're fortunate enough to have a large backyard. So we were able to create times that would make it work. Um, but uh, we ended up getting COVID about two weeks or I sorry, not two weeks ago, two months ago. Oh. And my roommate was tested negative, but the kids and I were positive. So we were confined into our room for four, uh, 18 days because as soon as he thought and I thought it we're like we're quarantining ourselves just to be safe yeah that yeah. was horrible right I I was just like because we I share a room with my kids because it's a two-bedroom house and so it, it was just that was the hardest two weeks yeah. two and a half weeks of my life I, Melissa, I totally feel you and I just like if you could put up a heart emoji I want to give you a heart because Wow. And in all that, I want to say, I'm glad you guys are here. I'm glad you're okay. And the joy in it is to hear your voice tonight. Um, and the, little, the joy that's even coming out of that. And so I hope in this moment, my friend, also that maybe, you know, you have a couple of things to do to restore yourself. Cause I can't imagine as a mom, as a parent, all it took to take care of you and your two babies in a room. And so um, you know what I, um, are you getting out and about now, Melissa? Yes, I am out and about and I was already vaccinated before I even got it. So I didn't even have any symptoms. Uh -huh. Um, and my kids didn't either. We really yeah. didn't have anything. So that was very fortunate. Great. Um, but it was also bad because my kids felt great and they were, you know, <laughs> hyper and confined <laughs> to a small room. 
Yeah. Well, <laughs> Melissa, I want to offer some, and then we're going to go to Annie. So I want to offer you a joy strategy that June, Junie said is a coffee shop. So Frank, can we put Melissa down? I want to get your information so we could give you a $10 um, coffee shop gift card. So you could go to the coffee shop and sit down and take a deep breath and just pat yourself on the back. Thank you, my friend, for sharing it. At the end, stay on, because we want to buy you coffee at the coffee shop. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome, dear. Thank you for sharing. I'm so glad you guys are okay. Annie, I see you out there. Yes, um, as for us, we didn't kill ourselves because we are <laughs> the, we are an a very active family. So yeah. I spent out the whole um, summer for them. <laughs> So we, we have a really busy um, uh, uh, um, time during the whole pandemic. Uh, in April, we went to Grand Canyon, that rally. Mm -hmm. And then uh, in uh, June, we went to Hawaii. So my kids came back and they had summer school. So, and then after that, uh, the past um, July, we went to uh, Utah for the five uh, mighty park, national parks. Oh, nice. Yeah, as well as other small state parts. Mm -hmm. So, and then, uh, you know, recently we just, uh, you know, came back from um, Yosemite. So we have the whole, the whole summer planned out for them. So uh, it's pretty good that we try to stay active for the yeah. kids, you know, with them. So that and they- And I wanna say, Annie, too, even now, cause then I wanna move uh, um, back up to Michael and them and then move on is that let's stay active. That's a great way to bring joy. And for those of us who can't travel or may stay local or walk and different things, we live in one of the most beautiful parts of the state and our country. And there are so many beautiful things here to see, especially in fall. Um, the Bay Area is one of the most gorgeous places in fall and I've traveled all over. And so Annie, the thought about staying active and being outside Maybe everyone we add on our joy list later that in the month of October and November that we go outside and we explore the Bay Area if you can't go away um, to see what the beauty is here. Can I share one more thing before I let you go? Um, I'm not sure if parents know about the uh, the fourth grade National Park B, I mean, a uh, uh, na National Pass. Whoever student that out there are fourth graders they are uh, eligible to apply for a national pass. So if they have that, they can go to all national parks for free with including the family. That's Great. why we went to all these different uh, national parks this year. Because my, well, my son is a fourth grader. What's the fourth grader? What we'll do is we'll drop that in the chat box, just the name so people can see. Michael, and can you tell me your name? Because I know it's not Michael. What's your name, my friend? And Gomez. Well, Michael and Emerald. Oh, Michael yeah. was the husband. He, the kids okay. needed to go outside. They was dying. Um, no, but I'm Emerald. Okay, Emerald. Thank you. <laughs> I've lost track. I forgot what we were talking about. But I was going to say, um, yeah, being active was good. But actually, we kind of, we suffered a little setback. A couple weeks ago, I actually got COVID um, a little bit ago. And it was like, good timing, but like still like ugh, having COVID. Because... Yeah. You know, I had to stop working, but it was just before they stopped the um, COVID pay because they cut that off on the 30th. Mm -hmm. So I got I got COVID in time. Yay. But, <laughs> but we were actually supposed to take um, a vacation. We were both off for a week paid vacation. So the time was good because he was off work. But we had had made the decision before, like when COVID happened, to not fly. For people who flew, not judging, just saying. Um, we just decided to not fly because the kids, you know, they're three and five and they're not vaccinated and they can't be, couldn't be at the time. So we we're like, it's not a good time to take our kids out. But we, I, I did a couple of Zoom weddings and then I was like, I can't do anymore. That's my mother. <laughs> okay. I did um, a Zoom memorial and then I did one I couldn't do anymore. So it's like, we did what we could do. And then the things that we couldn't, we just... We just just said no. Like you, I, I had to get really comfortable with saying no, uh, and I'm doing that more and more, and that helps me with my joy to realize that there's some things that even though I can do, maybe I just shouldn't. Mm. Because it'll wanna, drain me in the in the long run. 
I want to lift that because sometimes as parents and caregivers, even with our kids, we just, yes, 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 especially maybe some of the guilt of how we've had to live for the last 18 and two years. And you said sometimes joy is saying no. If you need to do no a little bit more, go ahead and just put no in the chat blast. We're going to practice that right now. If you want to take Emerald strategy that joy sometimes is saying no, Let's go ahead and take that. There's nothing wrong with that. That is also self-preservation. Somebody said, no. Nah. Oh, you said no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And this is what, when we talk about joy, it looks so different for all of us. And we have to tailor it to ourselves because one of the things I know, I've heard somebody say before, maybe it was my husband who's here as well, um, said one day to me, he said, if mommy is not okay, the kids are not okay. And then if daddy's not okay, or grandma or whoever is caring for the young, our youngins, if we're not okay, then our babies feel that. You ever had your kid come up to you and be like, um, something's wrong with you. You okay? And you're like, I, no one, I was faking it all day until you came home, little kid, and you called me out because they know our faces. They know the way we move. And so it is important to take a moment for us. Frank, you could go ahead with the slide. Great. Michelle, you want to make our last comment and then we'll go to the five? Yeah, I find um, a lot of guilt in saying no. Um, yeah. So much guilt because I feel like I'm saying no to everything and I feel like I'm keeping everybody from living. Mm. So there's a lot of guilt on that. I'm just not comfortable with a lot of stuff still because our kids are not vaccinated. Yeah. Uh, for an example, um, my son was invited to a birthday party out at Half Moon Bay. It's at a house. Um, and I feel, feel I feel funny, and I don't know why I feel funny. I shouldn't care to ask this question, but I want to ask, like, are we wearing masks? You know what I'm saying? But I just feel like I always worry that I'm just being so paranoid because... Uh, when you see things out there on social media or this or that, you just see people not wearing them. Then you see people wearing them. Is this so confusing? Yeah. Um, but anyway, so like, I want my son to be able to go to this birthday party, but I'm not comfortable with it. And then, so I feel bad. Like I'm keeping him from being a kid. Yeah. So it's keeping really him from Corona. You're following your instinct. Right. <laughs> you know, Michelle, I want right. to say, and this is for everyone here. We've experienced our house. You have to do what feels right for you. Right. And sometimes our kids understand that. And sometimes they don't. And a lot of us, we've missed birthday parties, holidays, celebrating all those things. And it's hard. But until you all and we all feel comfortable or your in groups that feel comfortable, you don't have to apologize for saying no. So you feel like your family is safe. We all have different values. We all move through life differently. But if it does greater mental harm to you, because then you're worrying about it later, then yes. no is the chosen word, or let me think about it, or asking the question. I have yeah. found that when I ask people sometimes, are you wearing masks? We wear masks. Sometimes some people will be like, well, we're all meant wear masks if it's comfortable. But, you know, and for your son, I know that's hard because they want to go play and sometimes they yeah. understand and don't understand. And, you know, we have in our houses little phrases that help the kids understand, like, this is what we're doing right now. And one of those is we have an elder in the house. We're like, we want to keep the elder safe. We right. want to keep you all safe. And then we plan something else as a family. We'll do a right. family dinner that night where we just joke all night or we'll go to the park. And so my friend and everyone there, sometimes we as parents and adults or um, um, caretakers need permission to say no and need permission to say, I'm just not comfortable with that. And that's okay. Right. I know I need to stop caring so much for sure. You know, um, it's just that I know that I am, um, I was already a germaphobe before, you know, so I, over, before the whole pandemic, I was already exaggerated on things. So I guess I'm always um, second guessing whether I'm being, you know, rational yeah. versus mm -hmm. irrational. And also, I guess that's my problem. My husband says that we should go to the birthday party, but wear masks. Yes. So if we go and wear, so, and then I felt, I felt like, well, I feel bad to have my son to have to sit there and wear a mask and all these kids don't. So I just rather not go. 
Well, well, what we've experienced with our kids and other kids we work with is that the kids would rather go and wear a mask and do everything yeah. you tell them to do than not go at all. That's and true. so, and this is where you all, you know, this, when we talk about resiliency, we have to talk about it for our children. And one of the ways we build resiliency with our kids is we let them try. And all of our kids are going to school, putting on their masks, these different things. Hopefully we don't have to live by this more years, but if so, they need to learn how to navigate in the world. And so if you're safe and you're there to watch your child, like one of our children now at school, he's become like the little mask police. He'll <laughs> tell the kids like, and his line is, do you want us to all go back into quarantine again? And the kids stop. That's his, that's his one liner. And yeah. so if you and your family are comfortable, do what makes you feel comfortable, but also you all, one thing I've learned about our kids as well is they, they want to be around each other. And yeah. so a lot of them are going to try to follow the rules just yeah. so they don't have to sit up under us all day and all That's night. Right. <laughs> so, That's true. No, yeah. thank you. That, You're I, welcome. that does kind of settle the. <laughs> yeah. Going yeah. On in the head. Tell our kids wherever we go, even for those of us vaccinated, keep your mm -hmm. mask on and um, nobody overrides mama or daddy's rule. That's right. Yep. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. The chat box is blowing up. Nelly, I see you in there. And, and I think, you know, part of joy right now is making sure that we all can be comfortable knowing we're doing what we're doing what, to be healthy. So great. Frank, do you want to, I'm going to do some transparent facilitation. Do you want to take more questions or, and pivot to our joy list or what do you want to do? My um, I'd love to um, share the joy list before we lose time. Okay. And then I think we can then use the rest of the time for the um, comments and questions. Great. And Melissa, I see your hand up as well, my friend. So after we do this, let's jump into some of your questions, maybe. Um, I think we talked about this a little bit in single family, single parents. By the way, check us out in single parents. That was amazing. Our session last week was amazing. For those of you all that were part of single parents last week that are on this call, you can Give a thumbs up if you want uh, to just tell folks we had a great meeting last week with the single parents single and the co-parents. And, um, and then um, we talked about being able to recognize how do you recharge and what, how off, how do you recharge and how long can you go before you need to recharge and rejuvenate? So, we understand that there are some people who are um, introverted and some people who are extroverted. And so what we know is that an introvert is gonna charge up by getting alone. So give me a thumbs up if you are an introvert and you charge by being just with yourself. <coughs> so just me and Nelly, huh? Oh, and Gigi. All right. Oh, and then, uh, is it Sadeha? Some of Melissa said S both. Some of us are a little Sadia. both. Sadia, yeah. Yes. <laughs> and then Sadia, since I have you on mic now, how do you recharge? How do you rejuvenate? Do you read? Do you watch television? Yes, I love to read. And I when I need to recharge, I just send my kids with my husband or <laughs> somebody for a walk and just have house for myself. Guys. Nice. Great. So you put people out the house and then you enjoy <laughs> If they can, then I go. I take, I take a walk to Shabot or Marina. So, <laughs> or for <Thank> coffee. <laughs> nice. I see a trend here, Gigi, with this um, coffee shop is the place to yeah. get away. Maybe when things get a little more safer, we do a family pack coffee shop meetup or something. I see there a little trend here. Maybe they could sponsor us at the coffee shop. <laughs> there you go. So then we have our extroverts and extroverts are going to charge up by being with others. So now don't, um, our extroverts are going to gather one or more folks. And then there's energy that comes from just relating with one another. Maybe you go to target with your BFF um, or even your teenage uh, child um, in order to recharge. So who are my extroverts? I charge up by being with others. Yeah, Annie. 
James, Michelle. Yep. So now we understand that. And then to that, they've now added the ambivert who charges up with others and then alone. So you do both. You do both. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Great. So then let's create, let's, when we get to our charge up space, let's create a joy list. Let's start to think about what are things in the past that have brought me joy and are going to bring me joy in the future so that I could plan that. And we talked about creating an appointment with yourself because too many of us uh, struggle with taking care of everybody else. And then there's no time left for me because I've taken care of everybody else. And then, and then you cross your list off and then more things jump on the list, right? It's Sunday night again. We got to get the kids ready. It's uh, Friday night again. We got to prepare for soccer and for baseball and all those weekend activities. Um, but what is your joy list that you can make an appointment with yourself to do um, or to just be? So one thing you could do is dance with your child. And another thing is watch something that makes you laugh, right? So, you know, I love some comedy and I'll, I'll make this confession. You guys already know I like to watch Golden Girls. But I also, I also like to watch the Wild and Out videos on YouTube. So there's my confession. Uh, but it makes me laugh. I have a good time. Um, and it recharges me. Um, you want to make yourself a priority using positive self-talk and have realistic expectations for yourself. If you struggle to make time for yourself and you haven't done that in the past month, don't start by saying this Saturday, I'm gonna spend the whole day with myself. Just establish an hour, an hour for your nap, an hour for you to sit out um, outside on the chase lounge, an hour for you to go to Lake Chabot. And start small and then you can grow it. So who's ready? who's ready to create a joy list? And what are you putting on it? Let's fire up the chat. What goes on your joy list? What goes on your joy list? What goes on? Or you can unmute yourself and just tell us. What goes on your joy list? I like to go swimming <clears throat> at a fairly pool. And then when I'm done with my swim, I'll go shower and deep condition my hair. And uh -huh. then I'll go to Zocalo for coffee and the avocado toast, like I said. And then after I leave there, I'll go and get a, a wax and a massage. And then <laughs> let's go. I do, I do the whole list. And then I come home. Oh, I, I start, I'll throw laundry in and then hanging clothes on the, I have a clothesline. It reminds me of Hawaii because we didn't have, like, we had a wash and dryer, but it's very easy to line, line dry out there. And line drying my clothes brings me joy. My grandmother had a, a clothing line. My mother had a clothing line. So I remember that growing up, my yes. clothing line brings me joy. Oh, Hanging yeah. up the little pieces of clothes and then taking a nap in that day. That's the whole, that's my joy day. On my day off, that's what I do. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Junie, how about you? For me, what's going to be on my joy list is um, hiding up and then going to like a coffee shop. Like reconnecting with my husband is also like really joyful yes. for me. And um, going to Target with my kiddos. Uh, now we have Target Tuesdays. Target Tuesdays! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <You're right. laughs> Uh, so yeah, that brings me joy. Thanks for letting me share. Yeah, absolutely. Lawrence and Winnie, love to hear from you. If, if you want to share, Tammy, if you want to share. All right. All right, and Frank also just transparently want to make time for a quick survey um, before wrapping. I like to pick the uh, peer for my fans as 
along my friends is visit me. I picked up here and the apples for my fans <laughs> and talk um, the, the some things that let us happy and something like that. Great. Love it. I like pears. <laughs> yeah, we'll come by your house to get pears. Yeah, you can. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Well, you all, thank you all for uh, being with us to have this conversation. And we'll ask, oh, Tammy said, love brings me joy. There it goes. Thank you. And uh, Sadia says, going hunting with my husband. Love it. All right. We have a hunter over here. All right. Angela, are you trying to come on? All right. No, I don't. <laughs> All right. All right, well then, um, Gingy, I'm gonna start setting up the raffle and we'll be ready to roll. Great, thank you. I've been muting myself because my dog wants to play with the squeaky toy right now. All right, you all. So parents, if you all, and um, if you all could bear with me, what we'd love to do right now is run a little survey. One of the things we'll be adding to our sessions is surveys to see if this, is working for you all. We just like to see the data as well. And so today I don't have an actual link, but what I want you all to do, if you'll roll with me, um, if you are able to put up an icon or um, a heart or a thumbs up, I'd love to see you put that up. And then I'd love to see if the majority of folks are able to do that. So on the count of two, one, two, let's go ahead and put up a thumb, a heart, so that when I ask you a couple of questions, Frank, can you look through to see if it's a majority of folks? When I ask you a couple of questions, I can see um, your response through a heart or a thumbs up. And if you do not respond, then we will count that as a no response. Um, and if you don't feel um, like the question is supportive to you, or you want to say something as if, um, for example, I said, did you enjoy yourself tonight? And you say, I didn't enjoy myself. Go ahead and put up a little different icon and we're totally fine with that. And this is a non-judgment zone. We just want to learn how to do better and be better. All right. Are you guys ready to play this game, survey game before the, the raffle? All right. Here is my first question to you all, my friends. Did you enjoy yourself in tonight's session? Did you enjoy yourself in tonight's session? Okay, if you put something on the screen. Okay, okay. We'll take about seven more seconds. Great. And please feel free to put a thumbs down or a frowny face if you did not. Okay. Great, thank you. The next one, let's clear our screen. This is like a great video game. Will you come back to more sessions? Great. Okay, I also see you guys using the chat box. Great, if you can't use the screen, that's what I'm talking, I love us, we're innovative here. All right, we'll take about five more seconds. Thank you, my friends. And then last, did you feel supported tonight? Okay. Take about 10 seconds. Did you feel supported tonight? Five more seconds, great. Thank you all my friends. We are trying to figure out the best way to do a survey for all tonight. This happened to work. We may try something else out next week, um, but thank you so much. And for those who may not have felt comfortable to say something um, in critique, go ahead and email us or private chat us and we would love to hear that as well. All right, my friends, before Franklin does the raffle, a couple bit of good news. Our next two trainings are, we have a train, or not training, I'm sorry, this is a training, a landing pad on October 6th. So that's next week, we're back together again. And then we're back together October 13th. And the 13th, we're having a family game night. So hope to see you all over the next two weeks as well. And next week we will be launching a, um, a landing pad 
for African American families or anyone who loves and supports African American families. And we also will be coming back around with our single co parents. So look out for those in your parent squares. I think, Frank, everyone is ready for the raffle now. Let's roll. All right. Our winners of the raffle tonight, generated randomly, are Nelly, Jasmine, Vasily, and Melanie, comma, OT. Congratulations, you guys are the winners tonight of the gift cards to guess where? Target. Target again. <laughs> and then Melissa Thompson, we want you to stay on for your Starbucks gift card um, because we all want you to go take a moment at Starbucks or wherever coffee shop you prefer. Great. I already have Melissa's information. Okay. Zocalo also has great outdoor seating in the future, so everyone knows. You all, thank you so much for coming. It's so great seeing your faces and your families. You take care of you. Bye, little ones. I see Melanie. I see your little one down there. Um, thank you so much. Take care of you. Remember joy. And if you don't know where to find it, look at what you've already come through, you and your family. And remember joy. Hi, Angela. I see you. Your little one.